3. Import methods for adding documents to DocMe. The first method is a simple drag and drop function. Browse for the files in my computer. Select the files, drag and drop them to the DocMe database. The files will be added to the folder or node that they are dropped on in the database tree. All documents will be named in the tree, by the document name from Windows. The next method is file import. This import function is much like the drag and drop function, except that all actions are performed within DocMe. Click the import files button. Browse for the files to import, and click open. The files will be imported to the folder or node that is selected in the database tree. The third method for importing documents, is flat file import. This function allows users to import documents into DocMe, using a pipe delimited text file, containing document index information. Make sure that the path to the documents is recorded in the text file, or that the text file, is stored in the same folder as the documents. If the images or documents are in the same folder as the text file, then a path to the documents does not need to be recorded. Each line of the text file should represent a new document, and the document name should always be the last entry on every line. Choose Flat File Import. Select the pipe delimited text file. Once the flat file has been selected, an import window will appear. In this window, the first line of the text file will be displayed. To view line 2, click the button labeled, Next. Each line may be viewed individually, using the navigation buttons. Remember that each line represents a new document. DocMe will separate the values, between the pipes of each line, into different fields. Match the fields of the text file, to the corresponding index fields. Remember that you are mapping a placeholder. Meaning, the mapping of the fields will apply to each line of the text file, it is only the value for each document that will change. For instance, if you map the value before the first pipe to the index field called document name, then the value before the first pipe on every line of the text file will be entered into the document name field, for that document. Also remember, that field 1 of your database, is the field used to name each document in the database tree, so make sure to map that field accordingly. By default, DocMe will import the documents to the folder or node that was selected in the database tree, when the import window was open. There is also an option to create a folder based on an index field. If this option is implemented, DocMe will create a folder with the document in it, based on the value of the field chosen. This feature simply allows users to automatically create a folder structure, based on index values, rather than creating the folders manually. Once documents have been successfully imported, a confirmation message will appear. Notice how the documents were automatically stored in folders. The index fields were populated from the text file. Thank you, for watching the import video tutorial. For more detailed instruction on this function of DocMe, please refer to the user guide, which may be obtained from the help menu of DocMe, or on the downloads page, at www.